Hey guys. Sorry it's been a while since I put a video out, but I've got a short one here for you. Uh, just to get one out there. I've got uh, my barrel trimmer here, and it's getting real dull. Uh, it's getting to where I'm actually chipping out the ends when I uh, do the barrel trimming. And it's because it's dull. So, I'll show you how I sharpen it up, and it really makes a big difference. Okay, sorry about the mess here. I haven't got to clean up since my last project, but what you'll have here on your barrel trimmer is, uh, and this is on mine, this, this is the only one I've ever had, so they may be different, but the most of the ones I've seen have this. Uh, it's got a little uh, set screw right here, keeps it from twisting on the uh, shaft. Uh, it'll loosen that up. Instead of it falling out and me losing it, I'm going to go ahead and take it all, all the way out and lay it down here. But uh, once you have that screw out, see this is a problem with mine. I've got that where I barrel trimmed too early. I've got epoxy build up on that. So let's see if I can hold on to this. I got my disassembly clamps here. Hold on to that. Set that up there. Put a hammer over here. And then we'll just give it a few light taps. And yep, there it came. And that'll come out. And as you can see, it's got all that epoxy dried on there. We'll get to that later. We'll get this piece out. Now as you can see on this is it's got these little slants and the back side of it that's what you're going to want to file. So what I do I got a flat file and it's just the file I keep with my chainsaw. You just lay it down flat on that and it angles over and just run it back and forth. And you'll see it getting shiny. You know, if it's used a lot, you'll see the uh, the crud coming off of it. And just move to the next one. Just keep moving around your uh, barrel trimmer till you get all four sides. And if yours is not that dirty like mine is, um, what you can do is uh, get a Sharpie or some kind of marker or something and uh, put a mark on it. That way you can see where you're filing off. That side needs a little bit more. Yeah. And then I'll take it. I'll take a few swipes across the top just to get that crud off of them. The tops of them should be perfectly flat right here. So if you lay it down flat with that and skews along, you should be able to scrape that off. But that's not really important because you know, the flat side here is your cutting edge. Now that we got that done, let me show you how I get the crud off of my the shaft of my barrel trimmer. Well, now with this, what I'll do is I'll chuck it up in my drill or my lathe either way uh, just to get the uh, shaft turning and I'll get some 150 sandpaper I'll just hold it on there go back and forth on that it takes that right off
Take it a little bit. out. Take our uh, cutting edges, put it back on here. You know, make sure you don't go up too far. You got to stay in this general area here. Uh, set it back in there and we'll get our set screw. Tighten it up. Makes a world of difference. You'll thank yourself if you take the time to do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Thanks for watching.